Hey, this is Anthony with Revzilla TV, and welcome to our brand new for 2010 detailed breakdown of the Revit Legacy GTX jacket and pant combo. So this is gonna be available this fall from Revit. It's brand new, it's Gore-Tex. And before we get into application features and fit, the big piece of this that's brand new that you're not gonna see anywhere else is this is a staple of the new Revit Gore-Tex line. When Revit teamed with Gore-Tex, they've created some of the most waterproof and breathable garments on the market. Gore-Tex invented the waterproof breathable membrane decades ago they continue to improve it this jacket showcases it at a price point that's somewhere in the middle range for a Gore-Tex item so basically the big thing that's going to be different than something like the Revit Defender GTX which is a liner a drop liner system is that this legacy actually only has one removable liner and that's going to be thermal the Gore-Tex membrane, which is the waterproof breathability of this jacket, is actually sandwiched into the outer shell. So a lot of guys ask us a lot of the time, they say, hey, you know, I know a lot of guys like to wear a drop liner system, a removable thermal, a removable waterproofing. I want something where the waterproof never comes out and I just have the option to turn the thermal on or off via the thermal liner. A lot of those guys are in the Pacific Northwest climates that rain a lot of the time. That's going to be this jacket. Now the Legacy jacket and pants, the Legacy jacket comes in three colors. You're looking at silver black, it comes in, in red black, and it also comes in all black. And the pants come in one color, they're going to be black only, which you can see down here. Price wise, it's going to come out of the gates, it's going to start shipping in late September of 2010. The, the pricing on this guy is going to be $549 for the jacket, $399 for the pants. Now as we get into application, it's truly a four season jacket. So you have complete precipitation blocking through the Gore-Tex. You're going to have waterproof, rainproof, snowproof, the whole line of anything from the exterior is not going to be able to get in. But you're also going to have thermal protection that you can take out and you also have some ventilation. So in the summertime, let's walk through the ventilation here which is going to keep you cool when it's hotter out. You have two main zippers here on the front that are going to flow air. Now the thing that you're going to have to realize about this, to make it completely waterproof and to include that liner sandwiched in, they call it Gore-Tex Z liner, it's a three membrane system that's on the outer shell here. Basically the venting vents to the Gore-Tex liner. So what you have is the vents in the front, you have the vents in the back, you have vents here on the sleeve, notice it's all YKK zipping, but when the air comes in, it's going to suck heat away from that outer, that, that, or that inner Gore-Tex liner and it's going to pull it through Venturi effect. The, uh, the heat and airflow will go in the front, out the back, but it's not direct ventilation to your body. If you had direct ventilation to your body, you're basically compromising the waterproof of the Gore-Tex because if you had vents, and we've seen other jackets that will do vents that directly go to the go to the body that have the, you know, a Gore-Tex membrane or a, a waterproof membrane that's sandwiched, what happens is you're putting holes in the jacket. No, no zipper, even the Riri zippers we see on some of the, the waterproof stuff, you know, like the Infinity Suit, it's, it's a zipper that's adopted from scuba diving. That stuff's not completely waterproof. So even with that gasket seal system, you're still gonna get water through. So for this guy, the venting goes to the Gore-Tex membrane. You can see it behind there. It's gonna channel air in, suck heat away, and it's gonna pull it out through the back. Ventilation here, ventilation here, ventilation on the back. You're also going to have side vents on the leg down here. I don't know if you want to come down and look. You kind of pivot there, Joe. You're going to see that as well. Primarily, this jacket is going to function best in the three seasons from you know September through the end of the spring. In the summertime, it's not going to cool as well as something that had a completely removable liner that air would vent directly to, um, to the body itself. Let's talk about protection. The outside construction of this jacket is made of three different materials. You're going to have 1000D Cordura ripstop in the high impact. You can see it across the top, across the shoulders here. And what ripstop is, is if you puncture this and it was not ripstop, with normal use and active riding, the rip could continue to tear. In the ripstop areas, to get the most wear and tear, what happens is with a small or large puncture, you can see the ripstop has these tiny square seams. Basically, they keep a rip from running. So they contain the rip. It's a function you see a lot. You see a lot of rip stop and a lot of mountaineering gear starting to make its way into the, uh, the motorcycling world. As we move into the rest of the coat, you're gonna see 750D power shell and 500D power shell in different areas. So depending on the propensity for the area to come in contact with the ground in a uh, crash or get off situation, you're gonna see the um, different deniers laid out accordingly. From a functional standpoint, you're going to see spring-loaded snaps for adjustability in the neck, on the inside of the arms. You have the seven-way Revit adjustable collar here, which they've perfected over a few years. You also notice that in hot weather riding, riding situations, you'd be able to loop it over. Oper, 
open rather. You have a neoprene cuff at the top here. You got waterproof pockets with a zipper underneath. You're gonna have the Z style connection cinches. This connection zipper or, or, or slide slides rather to cinch in under the arms. It's rubberized and connected there. Keep spinning for me Joe. I want to show the back of the coat. We talked about the two ventilation zippers in the back here. You know, it's got scotch light reflective paneling. This striped reflective paneling is new for Gore-Tex. We're just seeing it on the Gore-Tex line from Revit. Notice more ripstop along the back of the shoulder, around the back area. You know, again, it's areas that are gonna get a lot of potential abrasion in a get-off situation through normal wear and tear, but they're areas that are also highly usable to where if there was a tear, that ripstop is gonna contain that tear. Notice no rabbit pouch on this guy. It's about a hip length that comes down over the trouser. Wanna talk about the front. You know, with a garment that has the waterproofing sandwiched into the outer shell, you have to do a different style closure here in the front to keep precipitation out because this becomes a weak point in the waterproofing. So you're gonna notice that we have the rain gutter system, which you see on a lot of externally shelled or externally membrane jackets from Gore-Tex or beyond. This keeps the water from coming down this roll that's tacked right here to stay closed. Adds another layer of protection. You know, we talked about YKK zippers. A lot of guys talk about using YKK zippers. They'll use them in the main connection. They'll use them maybe in the connector zip, but everywhere else you use cheap zippers. Not so with Revit. This is all YKK throughout, even to the smaller zippers. This is a detail factor. It's something they do in all their garments. Revit spends a lot of time on quality. They spend a lot of time on R&D. It's what makes the product potentially more expensive, but it's also what makes it more comfortable, more protective, and makes it last forever. So you'll notice as I open this guy up, you have a single liner system. We talked about it. Towards the end of this video, I'm gonna show what it looks like to remove that zipper. Inside of the, uh, inside of the collar here, you're gonna have Cool Max. It's an area that's gonna pick up potentially a lot of sweat in, in very active riding situations. Antimicrobial, -mic anti antibacterial. Between washes of this guy, it's gonna stay longer. The entire exterior of this guy is Teflon coated. It's added a direct water repellency layer. So before the water even has a chance to get through the outer shell and hit that Gore-Tex membrane, it's got a great chance of beating and just rolling away. These are gonna be the legacy pants. You have a single snap with a zipper and you have a gaiter behind it. Very important again, when the waterproofing is built into the outer shell. The pants are gonna be made of the same composite material, so that 1000D Cordura ripstop, 750D power shell, 500D in different areas. This jacket's not crunchy. A lot of times you'll see um, Gore-Tex, the jacket and pants, they might be a little stiff. This has a great feel to it. It's not, a, it's not gonna be something that's gonna chafe or really abrade your skin. It's gonna have a good feel to it. They did a great mix of protection and stiffness. Elasticated panels on the back of the elbows, on the knees, more ripstop. You have a single cuff closure in the back of the leg with a zipper behind it. Notice it's not big enough for a full, like a city crossfire to get through, but it is big enough for a touring boot or potentially a riding shoe to make it through. This is a great commuter outfit. We have the eight inch connection zipper here that would zip to the pants. Notice the pants do have a full belt that comes around with side cinches. Um, and there should be, there's your eight inch connection zipper that's, that's uh, exposed by a flap there as well. It's gonna be pro-life throughout. It's a big step up from entry level Knox armor. So you have pro-life in the elbows, in the shoulders, as well as in the knees. You're also gonna come with a temper foam pad that's upgradable to either a Knox armor or a SAS deck. We're gonna get, that to, get to that in a second. So basically Joe's wearing a large, it's about 5'10", 165, 39 inch waist. I'm an extra large just because I'm a little broader in the shoulders. Typically this stuff does run a hair small, so if you're in between sizes or very close to the top end of the size range using the chart, please do size up. So application, you're looking at four season, fully waterproof, breathable. This is Gore-Tex, um, $549 for the jacket, $399 for the pants. The fit's gonna be that European snug fit. Um, use the size charts effectively, cost if you, have any, if you need any help. As always with this stuff, it's gonna ship for free. It's over 39 bucks. We're also gonna do free, free first exchange shipping um, on this item, and you are available to uh, earn Zilla cash on this guy as well. Available at revzilla.com slash Revit. If you need any help, either deciding on the legacy outfit or comparing it with any of the other Gore-Tex or waterproof breathable outfits we do here have here at RevZilla for adventure style and touring. Give us a shout, 877-792-9455 or cs at revzilla.com via email. I'm Anthony, I'll see you next time. Once again, this is the Revit Legacy GTX outfit, new for 2010 in the Gore-Tex line from revzilla.com. We'll see you next time.